which is totally to me my world title. Ricky is just about to fight for the English um, light heavyweight title. Um, very, very good fighter. Um, some people may may know may, may know well of him. Um, back in the start of his career, when he fought Frank Buglioni, um, he's he's fought some very, very good fighters down his ease, um, and he's now fighting again for the English title. So, for those who haven't seen him, check how much of a beast he is. <laughs> You can't do that to little Paul. I know. Yeah, I love that lad. You know, every time I see him, he goes, "Roten, I love ya, I love ya." He is a lovely yeah. guy, Paul Man from BCB. What a top lad, top lad. Yeah. Milking good there, though, mate. Yeah, Paul's top lad. Um, he's pushing all of us. You know, he's one person to get you super fit. And that body bag there, that's no joke. Talk about the title then. So you're fighting Joe McIntyre. Now, I I've, I've, doesn't matter who I've on the show, I full, full respect to each fighter. But me and you go quite back, Ricky. Yeah. So I don't, I don't mind... Yeah potentially being a bit more biased it's not it's not always the worst thing because i don't know him i know you no, i'm only human but i feel that's a fight you can win it, me personally 100 yeah, percent. like uh and that's not disrespect to john mcintyre no not um, at all i followed, I followed his career he's been in the game roughly the same time as me roughly the same age you know he's got a few losses himself uh, but he's a good fighter. he's got experience on each side as well and um, yeah, I, I uh, truly thank the fight because we had a few backers that backed me. I took less money. I could have boxed him on his own show, but all my big fights have been away. So it's nice to uh, mm-hmm. finally have this in my own city of uh, Wolverhampton. And um, yeah, all the fans are becoming out in, in full. So the, the show is a select. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Again, bringing back down to the age thing, um, only because this this probably your third or fourth attempt at a major title now. If it well, yeah, didn't, if it did yeah. third, yeah. If it didn't go towards your favour, would you still be trying on, or would you think maybe I've, I know my level now? You know, <laughs> I'm thirty five. What would or would you be fighting on and still? Because I, I like you both ways. Even if I win, I ain't planning on staying around long. You know, even if I, even if I do win, um, yeah. You know. I feel young. I know I'm 35, but I live a good life. I live clean. Yeah. You know, I've never been one for I've never been one for drugs. I, I like a beer when I'm out of Canberra. I don't abuse my body. Um, and and like say, in an ideal world, when I when I when I beat Joel McIntyre, I'd love another crack at the British. You know. Okay. My my dreams was never to be a world champion, and um, you know, it, 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 it's to be a British champion. I know that's. You know, you might not seem big on other people's scale, but you know, British is told to me my world title, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> love, and there's I'm absolutely loved. nothing wrong with that either. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. I like it. I'd much prefer that than someone shouting their mouth off, going, I'm going to be the next world champion when they're just no good. Do you know what I mean? But if yeah. I'd prefer you say, Listen, this is, I feel my level, even if I just get to that point. Would you say that is the kind of the pinnacle of your career then? If you were to win a British title, would you lace them up? Would you literally lace them up? Yeah. And you would. Hundred yeah, percent. That's cool. Yeah, I promised. Uh, I promised my little son years ago. Obviously, he's getting old and now he's eight. I promised it him. Obviously, many years ago when I fought Bully Only, and I and I've always stuck to the promise. You know, you know, um, it's something that I'd love to win for him. You know, I never really break promises, and uh, that's something that I'd love to uh, bring back in my household. 